Got enough for the morning rush happening right now. Albuquerque police are searching for suspects caught on camera breaking into people's cars. Let's take a look at the video here. It happened early Sunday morning near Rio Grande and Indian School. The video shows at least two people going from car to car breaking in. If you recognize the suspects, you're asked to call authorities. A suspect accused of leading Lee County deputies on a wild chase remains on the run this morning. Last Wednesday, a deputy tried to pull over a driver in a suspected stolen car. They say the driver then struck the patrol car head on, hitting the deputy in the leg before speeding off. Now, the deputy fired a shot and uh, they, they later found the car abandoned. The injured deputy is OK this morning. Erica. We're expecting dry weather for today, but the next system will start bringing in messy weather by tomorrow morning. This is a look at that Thursday morning commute, a chance for snow and mix in the metro. New details for you this morning. A new overnight video shows the moments two missiles strikes two missiles strike a Ukrainian passenger plane. The video shows the two missiles strike in the plane a mere 20 seconds apart. Last Wednesday, Iranian authorities have admitted their military shot down the plane, but never said the plane was hit twice. All 176 people on board that flight were killed. A New Mexico jail is no longer allowing in-person visits to inmates. The Farmington Daily Times is reporting that the San Juan County Detention Center will now only allow phone or online video chats. The county says the change will reduce the travel burden for families. Stu studies uh, from two national nonprofits say that taking away the in-person visits may make jails more dangerous. A campaign worker starting his supervised probation this morning after pleading guilty to falsifying ballots. Diane Herrera admitted to forging the signatures on three absentee ballots from other voters to re-elect Española Councilor Robert Seeds in 2016. Herrera is on an 18-month probation period. Bernalillo County says they still welcome refugees. This, as President Trump says, the federal government should only place refugees where they're wanted. In last night's meeting, the commissioners unanimously approved a resolution that continues helping refugees resettle. Federal numbers as show in 2019, a total of 101 refugees resettled here in New Mexico. New this morning, asylum seekers sent to Juarez awaiting a decision on their cases now have access to U.S. attorneys through virtual bridges. The Journal is reporting the new video conferencing program called Free Bridges will link asylum seekers with U.S. attorneys for free legal advice. The project was spearheaded by a Texas state senator. Today, the House is set to vote on managers to send the articles of impeachment over to the Senate. This comes one day after Democrats unveiled some new evidence supporting their case. President Trump is accused of abuse of power and obstruction of Congress over his dealings with the Ukraine. The Senate trial should begin next week. Erica. Here's a look at our Metro Threat Index for today. We're keeping it nice and low. No worries out there at all. Temperatures in the 30s this morning, climbing back into the 50s by the afternoon. The city and county are working together to repair a road in the growing part of the Metro. The Mesa del Sol is a new housing development and new production hub, home to a new production hub, which is for Netflix. Bobby Foster Road takes you into the development, but drivers say it's a bumpy drive to get there. The city says making progress on the repairs is inconsistent. That's because it's technically not a road. City councilor says improvements should be seen later this year. Traffic alert here. Residents near Stanford and Garfield are worried after someone took off with their stop sign. Neighbors see a lot of cars pass through the area, so the stop sign is important. The city says they, aren't, they weren't aware of the missing sign until we called. They say the sign will be replaced sometime today. Toyota is recalling nearly 700,000 cars due to issues with the fuel pump. The automaker says the fuel pumps on 2018 and 2019 models could stop the car from working, resulting in it stalling. Some of the cars include Lexus, Camry, Highlander, Tundra, and Corolla. Toyota's, Toyota says that they are working on a fix and will notify the owners of the affected vehicles via mail by mid-March. On to developing story for environmental officials say data shows several oil and gas operators in New Mexico have emissions violations. The Environment Department recently conducted flyover inspections using special infrared cameras. The agency sent written notices requesting the corrections be made. If the companies don't respond, the state may launch an investigation or seek penalties. Today is the last day for you to weigh in on Mayor Tim Keller's proposed homeless shelter. The online survey is asking residents for their input on where to build a $30 million facility, which is meant to house up to 300 people. Right now, the city is looking at locations near I-40 and 2nd Street, I-25 and Lomas, and somewhere downtown. A creation from the minds behind Mel Wolf is helping kids with special needs. Students at Chatterbox Speech Therapy in Los Ranchos are working on their language development with the help of Mel Wolf's experience tube. There it is. Speech therapists at the school say it helps the students interact with each other on a whole new level. 
The Georgia O'Keeffe Museum in Santa Fe will soon receive a $750,000 grant. The New Mexican is reporting that the museum was selected by a National Humanities Endowment to receive the grant. The museum says they will use the money to fund an expansion project in downtown Santa Fe, which includes construction of a new exhibition space and research center. Erica. I'll take a look at that morning drive. Taking a look at the map, everything seems to be green and moving right along nicely. And now taking a look live at our news tracker, driving along I-40 eastbound around the Big Eye. Looks like we're starting to see big traffic out there. We'll keep you updated in just a bit. Finally new this morning, a Kansas City bar now has a White Claw Claw Machine. The White Claw Machine is the newest game at Gamble Social Club. The bar's general manager says so far the reaction has been very positive. He says the idea was proposed by an employee. The 100-calorie hard seltzer became extremely popular in 2019.